and I'm here with another episode of Mountain Blade Game of Thrones A World of Ice and Fire, and I'm here attacking Sir Baylor Swan, by far the weakest member of the Reach. And I have 468 men, because it just so happens that I got 98 Iron Men from the town of Monger's Hog. Or village, I should say. That's kind of a lot. Now, what group are they a part of? Spearmen? I would uh, suspect so. Northern Levy. Oh, they're at the bottom of the list now, aren't they? So they may not have even shown up. All right, archers, come to the front. I've still got all these red cloak knights. That's very good. Now, if I could just get Sir Baylor Swan to charge, that would be very good. Hmm, these guys seem like they're worth a bit less than, uh... Well, whatever, I guess I'm sending a robber knight. Yep, you guys, go charge. Make them charge at me. What are you doing, guys? I told you to stand here. Here, stand here. And I can send these wildlings to charge as well. Come on, get him to charge. Reach Longbowman, knocked unconscious by Bale Rider. Very good. Well, there goes my robber knight. At least he didn't die. That's better than him dying. Yeah, I told you guys to stand here. Just stand there already. Then, those guys can go up to the front. I don't know why you just walked in that strange format, but whatever. They should be charging at me now. I'll set my skirmishers out in just a minute. You know what, these guys should be back here. Go on, take down their cavalry. Oh cool, he got killed by uh, Iron Man Pirate. Because I guess they're using all their... Amazing piercing weapons now. Go on, get all of them. And you know what, everyone else can charge you. Except for support, which will stand their ground. This giant mass of, uh... Levy and, um... Footmen. And then my Red Cloak Knights. They don't stand a chance. Okay, I should really be having this out. It's longer. I'll have the advantage over their puny swords. With my big spear. No double entendre there. Damn it! Had to target the one other people were already targeting. That's why I failed. That's why I will continue to fail. For I am still a grasshopper, and am not yet a locust. I don't know what that was, what I just said. I have no idea. I just want to let you know that most of the time, I never expect what I'm going to say. I do not think before I speak, which usually results in me saying some pretty funny stuff. Usually.
Only one killed. Very good. Who got killed? Northern Levy? Yes, very good. <laughs> You're at my mercy. Um, let's see. There's no point to me hiring this farmer. Share the loot. Ooh, a horn. I think I need to give that horn to Hebald. Equipment. Yep, he doesn't have a shield. Or a hat. Well, I should probably uh, upgrade some of these guys' skills while I'm at it. He's gonna be my trade guy. That's what I decided long ago. Skills. See, I wish charisma... I wish persuasion was a charisma skill. Do I wish that? I'm not sure. Would that make things easier or more difficult? I'm not sure. What color is the sky? Good thing I have Alexa to tell me things like that. The Amazon Echo, Alexa. She tells me important things like that. Like, what color is the moon? She says, the moon's color is gray. And I say, what time is it on the moon? And she says, scientists have disagreed about how to keep time and space, but blah, 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 and this is the placeholder they have for the time being. Something like that. The Amazon Echo is great. Bale Rider. Those are fine. Ooh, Robber Knight. Oh, wow. Northern Footman. Riverlands Ranger. Riverlands House Guard. I think I'll hold out on that. Hold out on that. Hold out on that. Yeah, I'll hold, it on, hold out on the rest of that. Alright, so now I'm going to head over to Fair Market. And um, any of these troops that I plan to recruit at a later date, I will be putting in the garrison. So Red Cloak Knights, Arbalesters, Trumpeteers, Pikemen, Standard Bearers. Um, and then Reach Standard Bearer. Reach Knight, Reach Mounted Sergeant, and Reach Longbowman I put in there. And then I put in my Lords. And then I'm going to take these and I'll drop them off at the Gold Mine. Because I think I could potentially make a lot of money by putting stuff there. You have a lot of prisoners, sir. Yep, when I put it like that, this person has a lot of prisoners. You get something out of me, you scum. Uh, charge the enemy. Yeah, they have a lot of prisoners. Now, looters aren't worth much. Or heck, maybe I can just move them to the top and use them as fodder. Flesh shields and so on. I'm always low on, uh... People. And, uh... Brothers Without Banners rarely have strong troops, so I'm just gonna have my Red Cloak Knights charge them. As well as, of course, my, uh... Extremely badass companions. Look, Zondo just killed somebody. Or knocked him unconscious. Because he's a total pussy. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying that. That was not nice. I'm sorry, Xondo. I should be more polite to you. I respect your culture and that your culture says that you that all warriors should be so freaking weak that they can't even kill somebody. They only knock them unconscious when they attack them with a sword. See, I totally apologized. That's how you apologize to someone, kids. When you offend their culture. Looters? 
Okay, and I'll move those up to the top. Just use them as fodder. Westerlands Levy, Robber Knights, Knights Watch Infantry. Oh, those are not bad. Wildling Huntress. How do you get the Wildling Huntresses? Wildling Warrior, Wildling Stalker, Riverlands Man at Arms, Riverlands Tracker, Riverlands Footman, and Riverlands Outstrider. And then Prisoners. I'll just take all of these. They will be going. into the gold mine. And then by the time I get back here, lost two morale. By the time I get back here, um, by the time I get back to my cities, I should be able to hire a new watch. And I will tell them to reinforce the garrison. Because that's what's really important here. I've got all of these, but I think I actually want to upgrade these into really good skirmishers. So I'm instead just going to give them my wildlings. You know what? Maybe I'll just give them... 2, 3, 4... 40 of them. Because it doesn't matter um, the quality of the troops that are in here. So I don't have any North Peasants I can give? It appears not. These guys are not bad infantry at all. Oh, right, of course. Oh, I did give the prisoners. Weird. Could have sworn I didn't do that. And I just had a brain fart, that's all. 58 uh, Iron Man. Iron Man is plenty. Uh, whilst traveling, you come across a lung scholar who, who claims his master's chronicling the great, great and noble events of the land. He offers a, for a small fee to convince his master to overlook. Gladly pay him, and I gain two renown. Whatever. I was having trouble reading that out loud today. Yep. Oh, we have nothing to eat. Crap. Um, locals, goods. Oh, it went run. Good to know. Oh, for Pete's sake. Won't let me buy the chicken because I just sold a chicken. Even though that one is run, it's clearly not the same item. Okay. And now let's head up here and talk to my lords. Uh, my ministers, actually, I should say. Minister of Law, I'd like to talk about patrol, enlist a new patrol. A big one near River Run. Yes. Okay. I recently saw on the Mountain Blade forum on a Steam. Uh, somebody was compared, uh, I don't know what it's called, the, like, this, this meme, I don't know what the meme is called, but it compares a really lame person to a really awesome person, and, um, the lame person was the person who plays Skyrim, and the awesome person was the one who plays Mountain Blade. I think that's hilarious, because I love both of those games. So, did the thing come back? I guess not. Interesting. Um, what was I doing? Something specific I was going to do... Oh, right! Buy a bunch of cows. The poverty is unbearable. Well, I'll buy... Ten cattle. And then I'll turn all of this fresh meat into... Sausages or something. Dried meat? I'm not sure what it turns into. Not when I meant to click. I meant to click. Four. 
OK. And now camp, options, more, smoke raw food, smoke my beef. Oh, I got 5,100. And none of my people escaped. Uh, 12,000 for Surveillor Swan? Yeah, he's no threat. Alright. How much, uh... Oh, yeah, that's some good dried meat. Okay, that should last us a little while. Not that long, because my army's freaking huge. But you know what I mean. By little while, I mean almost no time at all. These guys are wearing some pretty good armor. I have no idea what these the difference is between these. That was weird. I'm not sure what the difference is between these. I guess I'll make... This will make them marauders. Because I need infantry. I always need infantry. Because that's what seems like it's going to be infantry, right? They'll seem like they'll be infantry. Did I enlist a patrol or what? Where's the patrol? Eh, whatever. Let's go to all my uh, places and ask... Yeah, here, River Run Patrol. Assist River Run Patrol. Uh, charge the enemy. It's just a caravan. And they've got Veil Knights. Although these Red Cloak Knights are probably one of the best. Just because their horses are so armored. You know? Aw, oh, they're all scouts? Crap. Maybe this wasn't the best idea on my part. Although Red Cloak Knights are basically just a digivolved version of, uh... Scouts. Westerland scouts, so yeah, I'm actually pretty good here. They don't stand a chance. Like, you know, um a raccoon can't defeat a panda because um raccoons evolve into pandas. Of course there are some moves that only raccoons can learn, but pandas clearly have the um advantage in a fight. No! Man, I gotta get my horse archery skill up. Hey, I hit him. Yay, we win. Alright. One killed. A Veil Knight. Ooh, and I got more prisoners to put in my, uh, thing. That's good. Share the loot, as always. Get that morale I need. Uh, but I want to go talk to these guys and tell them to... We need you to reinforce a garrison at River Run. Thank you. And now they're just going to go inside there. And I'll no longer have a patrol. Is that how that works? 11 standard bearers, 5 trumpeteers. Yeah, they just go inside there. All right, that's good to know. It's good to know. So let me uh, grab these trumpeteers and standard bearers. And really, these knights I should take, and I should drop off some sort of infantry in here. But I don't have a lot of infantry. So I'm just going to leave those as is. Now, I've got this giant freaking army. A lot of it's low quality. Um, I think I should besiege something. But I'm no no in no condition to be attacking the Western lands, and uh, because they are just their castles are very heavily fortified. 
Oh look, Surveillor Swan. Hey, Surveillor Swan. Hmm. A lot of Reach Riders. I'm not sure how good those are. My army is relatively big. The Marauders have got to be the infantry. That's what I feel, at least. Right? Right. Anyways. To Dying Lance. Uh, recruit. Meet the village elder. Anything you need help with? Nope. Buy some supplies. Oh, nope, not cattle. Buy some supplies. Venison and grain. And a couple of chickens. Because I don't have that much variety, so they're probably going to go through that. And I've got a big army that needs a lot of food. Okay, Red Fork. They appear to be flourishing. Very good. Um, then just village. Watchtower. That's pretty cheap. Meet the village elder. No, don't need anything? That's just silly. I mean, they should always need something, right? I mean, they're peasants. They're completely inferior to my superior noblage. And I say this when, even though I was not born a noble, but I've already become as cocky as a noble is. Okay. They didn't need anything. I did. Um. No. I did complete the training the villagers quest here. Uh, they didn't appear to didn't appear to be that profitable for me. Um, Watchtower. Oh, they still worship the seven. I should have built the wirewood. Um, supplies. Just chicken. Why the chicken? Why can't it be like goat or wolf or something like that? Uh, give them money. Reputation has been gained. No, Monger's Hog! I recruit people from there. That's terrible. Terrible, I say. How many tasks is it helpful with? Food and supplies. Wild donkey meat. There we go. That's more like it. Well, at least it's um, a northern place now. Now I can get some spearmen, you know, if I'm lucky. Uh, I'm liking these allies being near me like this. I wonder if there's anyone living here. I wonder if I can do a quest for them. Sir Baylor Swan is laying waste to Riverwood, Whispering Wood. I'll never catch him. My army's too big and fat. Ooh, I could take that so easily. But I'm not going to. <laughs> I said but. Let's go to Hagsmire. Ugh. That's a lot of Iron Men. Um. Why do they like me? No! Whew. That was close. They've got all the salt as well. Now, I've got a ton of money in my bank account, so I'm going to go and collect all of that. I imagine that uh, Wayfarer's Rest has been besieged. To Wayfarer's Rest I go. Let's go take care of that. Maybe I'll have to show that next episode. I kind of did some dilly-dallying around today uh, because I haven't shown that kind of stuff in a while. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're not getting away from me. I'm too much inside your pants. Okay, now I'll wait time for here. Red Cloak Knight deserted. Is it because I keep fighting the Westerlands? No, it's because they're super depressed. At least I got those skirmishers near the top. Um... 
No one appears to be here. I need to get their morale up. Stop it, Surveillor Swan. You're just being mean to me. Why are you being mean? Um, what was I doing here? Uh, right. They gained 20 more off from the night's rest. Very good. And now I'm gonna murder this guy. Time for the die, buddy. Seriously, why do you keep besieging my, uh, attacking my, uh, villages? It's just not cool. I wish that the, the characters in the game that have honor would not attack villages. That only the honorless ones. So, Rob Stark would not raid a village. However, um, the Boltons would. And that's just one example within one country. Tywin Lannister would totally raid a village. Um, whereas... Some non-evil Lannister wouldn't. Did I just say that correctly? Non-evil Lannister? Nah, there's no way I said that. There's no such thing. Are you gonna charge him me or what? And the episode's gonna end pretty soon, so... Go ahead and charge. Come on, get him, get him to get him, come at me. Stand closer. Just one, though. I'm worried it might interfere with your aim, because there are so many. What am I doing? Point the horse in the direction I want it to go. Aha, a lot of skirmishers. Let's send the skirmishers down here and see. Skirmishers in an archer division? Aren't they a skirmishers division? Oh yes, bandits. Looks like they are useful after all. Come on, charge at me! For Pete's sake, I've got all these archers. They're ready to murder you. None of my men have to die. Just come at me, bro. Step forward just a little bit. Egg them on. Well, I'm sure you know how this fight is going to go. It's an overwhelming advantage that I have here. That's going to be for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Today, I did some of the more basic stuff. Um, and, uh... I hunted Surveillor Swan twice. Yep. That's it for today, everyone. Bye!